Well, it's arrived. Victory in Europe at last, although I believe we're calling it VE Day. We suspected it yesterday and it was announced on the six o'clock news with more details on the nine o'clock. The date of Tuesday, the 8th of May, will go down in history. The church bells have been ringing and the bunting is going up in the streets. However, we must not forget there is still fighting in other parts of the world, in Burma and so on, and we must pray that this will be over soon too. Been a strange six years. I joined the WVS almost exactly six years ago in May 1939 in answer to the call up. I was too old for the services, but I wanted to help despite having my old mum at home still. My children were all grown up by then and off in the services. I joined initially as part of the Civil Defence Air Raid Precautions Team, um, but by September of that year I was in the first wave or organising the first wave of the evacuees out to the countryside as WVS. My knowledge has come on in leaps and bounds since then. I've learnt to drive, very scary, so I can drive the mobile canteen for the troops and for the bombing victims and I've learnt to cook in the open air for large numbers of blitz victims. We also have a mobile rest centre which is too big for me to drive and also a mobile laundry which is a great help for those who have for example been bombed out and have very few clothes to their name. Our welfare work, such as the make, do and mend classes for the troops, have been very successful, so they can at least sew their own buttons on now. Um, together with the ARP, we've managed to organise basic training lectures for the Housewives Association, uh, dealing with first aid and so on, as well as um, ideas for feeding families on the ration, which is a job that's been very hard recently, with the ration being paired to the bone. Salvage parties were also part of my duties too, collecting waste paper and metal, uh, but this has also been hard to find recently, especially since the paper rationing became more stringent, there's less of it about. Our duties have been organising working parties for clearance and so on, as well as clothing banks, although one week the sum total of donations was three hankies and a boy's vest, so we're all in the same boat. I could talk for hours on the last six years, but I'm waiting for Mr Churchill to speak on the wireless at three and then my neighbours and I will be talking about pooling our coupons in order that we can get together for a street party for the kiddies at the weekend. It's all go.